new study, 50-50 chance or more of a dry Lake Mead in 2021 possibly before. The study cites warming, water use, and a growing Colorado River deficit. What are the chances? What are the chances for Lake Mead, a key source of water for more than 22 million people in the southwest, will go dry? A new study says it's more than 50% or at least 50% by 2021 if warming continues and water use is not curtailed. We were stunned with the magnitude of the problem and how fast it is coming at us. The co-author, Tim Barnett, of the Scripps Institution of Oceanographic, said in a statement, and make no mistake, this water problem is not a scientific abstraction but rather one that will impact each and every one of us that live in the Southwest. Everyone in the country, actually. It's going to mean real changes to how we live and do business in this region. Added co-author David Pierce, a Scripps climate scientist. Yes, Talking about change, a lot of things are going to change. Yes, the experts estimated or estimate that the Colorado River system, which feeds Lake Mead and Lake Powell, is seeing a net deficit of nearly 1 million acre feet of water per year, an amount that can supply some 8 million people and that water is not being replenished it's not being replaced they noted and human demand evaporation and human induced climate change are fueling the growing deficit combined with the system is already at half capacity because of an eight year drought When expected changes due to climate change, global warming are included as well. Currently scheduled depletions are simply not sustainable. Barnett and Pierce wrote in the study. They analyzed federal records of past water demand as well as calculations of scheduled water allocations and climate conditions. Lake Mead is on the Arizona Nevada border. And aqueduct, aqueducts carry water from the system to Las Vegas, Los Angeles, San Diego, and other communities. The researchers or scientists also note that their estimates are very conservative. In other words, the water shortage is likely to be much worse than they estimate. The conservative approach included basing their findings on the premise that warming effects only started in 2007 even though they probably started decades earlier probably back in the 1980s something on that order. Then averaging river flow over the past hundred years even though it has dropped in recent decades. The study has been accepted for publication possibly next month in the peer-reviewed Water Resources Research, a journal of the American Geophysical Union. The researchers also estimate at least a 10% chance that Lake Mead could be dry by 20 14. In just a few years relatively. A 50% chance are greater. The reservoir levels will drop too low to allow hydroelectric power generation by 2017. The system could still even run dry 
have recently proposed mitigation measures measures are implemented the researchers also said today we are at or beyond the sustainable limit of the Colorado River system the study concludes the alternative to reasoned solutions to this coming water crisis is a major societal and economic disruption in the desert southwest something that will affect each of us living in the region possibly the whole country yes <sighs> it's not good yes change has to come and change is coming there's more change there's more change to come as we get closer to 2012 more things are going to change these are signs the last days in times whatever you want to call it 